we'll get back to this discussion in just a minute, but earlier we had a report on the Moody Broadcasting Network. WMBI went on the air way back in 1926, but since that time there have been several newcomers to Christian radio in Chicago providing a variety of formats and appealing to new segments of the Christian audience. Here's Dave Oslin with a report on three such stations. Since pioneer radio station WMBI went on the air, there have been others to pick up the banner and the vision of broadcasting the gospel message in more recent years. In the late 50s, evangelist Percy Crawford saw the potential of utilization of the FM radio frequencies and, as a result, established a number of full-time commercial Christian FM radio stations, which included... WYCA in Hammond, Indiana. At the time, back in the 50s, the uh, major radio and TV stations were tightening up in their approach to religious broadcasting and just felt that uh, religious programming was not the kind of programming to get the ratings they needed or wanted and decided to put a stop, for the most part, to the sale of religious programming. As a result, Percy Crawford decided, uh, with the leading of the Lord, of course, to form his own radio network across the country. Currently, there are six stations in the Crawford Broadcasting Company. YCA was the second, and we take our call letters from the Young People's Church of the Year, which was his program name. Our goal, our purpose, the reason for the establishment of the station is really a very simple one, to reach as many people as possible in Chicagoland for Christ. WYCA is the uh, strongest uh, commercial Christian station in Chicago. We have a 30,000-watt uh, transmitter. We cover uh, portions of four states and have a potential audience of 10 million people. We are a commercial station. We uh, financially stay afloat by the sale of commercial and program time. Uh, we do not go after uh, donations, uh, any kind of financial response for the station proper from our listening audience. The station was established to be solely a commercial Christian radio station. We at YCA are attempting to reach the broad spectrum of the Christian community. If we were to specialize in either one of those two extremes, no doubt we'd reach only the segment of audience that appealed to that particular kind of music. We appeal uh, what, to the broad base of the community, as I mentioned, with what we call an adult contemporary Christian music format. We are contemporary, but appeal to the adult audience. We don't have a great deal of uh, Jesus rock music. That is not our emphasis, although there's a, a definite market for that, and we do have some programming especially for the younger people with the straight uh, Jesus rock sound. But we prefer to play artists that are familiar and enjoyed by by the broad base of Christians, uh, people like the Bill Gaither Trio, Evie Tornquist, we have the Imperials on the air, Don Francisco, and names that are household names, no doubt, in the homes of many Christians who, who listen to Christian music, uh, whether it be on radio, records, or TV. WYCA is found at 92.3 on the FM band. Now another full-time Christian broadcaster is serving the far west and northwest Chicago suburban areas. The station is WCRM and is also on the FM radio dial at 104. Love is free for me. WCRM signed on the air with a Christian format in, Ju in June of 1980 uh, as the first Illinois station owned by CLW Communications of Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is the broadcast ministry arm of AMG International, uh, AMG International, which has uh, uh, missionary and relief operations in about 60 countries throughout the world. And uh, our primary purpose, other than uh, being a Christian broadcasting station, is uh, to generate revenue to help support the missionary efforts of AMG International. So we are a for-profit st radio station whose uh, function in the overall corporate scheme of things is to generate revenues to fund missionary efforts across the world. Well, our target audience actually is uh, adults between the ages of 18 and 49 overall. There tends to be a concentration, however, between the mid-20s and the late 40s, I'd say 25 and 49, although we aim for a broader group than that and uh, we also have picked up uh, somehow along the line we've picked up teenagers 
So really, uh, we're targeting for 18 to 49, but we're getting, I'd say, 13 to 49. Well, radio in the way that we present it, uh, I think uh, offers a uh, Samaria type uh, fulfillment to the Great Commission. Uh, it's the region at large, the Samaria, and uh, it's an opportunity where a local church or a pastor who may have a very good ministry within the four walls of his church uh, needs an opportunity a little bit more to uh, expand beyond the Judea and into the Samaria, and that's where I think Christian radio fits in. It's more of a regional type thing. At the 104 WZRM Tanti, I'm Jim Chanel, and on a Monday afternoon, here's Brother Don Thomas. I talk about the keeper of my love, the Lord Jesus Christ, at FM 104 WCRM. Finally, the newest full-time Christian broadcaster to come into the Chicago area is WEAW, located at 1330 on the AM dial. WEAW serves the northern sections of our area from its studios and transmitter located in suburban Northbrook. Well, WEAW has a quite a history, a heritage to the station. It was started about 20 years ago, uh, but Forest Communications bought the station last year and uh, we put new equipment, new towers, new transmitter and all up and went on the air February the 12th of this year as the WEAW. It had been WPRZ for some short interim time, but we went back to the original call letters of WEAW. We feel like that it's our obligation to go out to people who are not a part of a local church, who aren't already a, a believer and those who may be a believer but are not actively involved in their church and to bring them in to become a part of it and to share with them the gift of God's love for their life. Our target audience, like I've mentioned partially, is the person who is on the fringes or who has not a close uh, affiliation with a local church of some kind. He wants to uh, really have a peace in his heart, but he's not really sure, he or she, is not really sure how to receive that peace and what to do. Many times these people are turned away from a church because they may be a single or part of a single parent family. They may have difficulties in their life, and we try to reach out to those people and through the testimony of songs and the different uh, ministries and teaching ministries that we have, to bring them uh, to listen and to realize that the Christian life is the best life for a person and to live happily and to know Christ as their Savior. There is a lot of uh, competition and what we try to do is not to copy something that someone else has done. There's plenty room of room for an alternative. We try to be uh, the station that reaches people who can listen to an adult contemporary Christian music station and benefit from the teaching as well as the music and the message that the music brings to them. Well, we are to go into all the world, of course, as the Great Commission says, and preach the gospel. And by doing the teaching and the things that uh, we've already spoken about, how the station can help people, we are fulfilling the commission by those who have not become a part uh, of a local church and those who do not know Christ as their Savior. It's our obligation to get them to listen. We have to go where they are. The Bible tells us to go into the highways and the byways and to compel them to come in. That's how we are able to uh, have some of the high school sports that we have and some of the other uh, things that reach people who would never otherwise listen to a Christian radio station. For TV 38, I'm Dave Oslund. Thank you, Dave. We appreciate that.